Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of So Not Scary. In today's episode, we're going to talk about whether it's worth investing in a mini sewing machine or not for you. So recently, over the past few weeks, I've been receiving so many questions uh, from beautiful, lovely viewers who have been saying they've been having um, some some really, really frustrating problems with their mini sewing machines. Uh, most specifically, most of you have been saying is that um, the, the thread has been bunching up underneath the fabric and getting stuck and, and it's just not unraveling and you're unable to sew. But along with that as well, there have been so many other problems you guys have been facing. If you read the comments on the different videos on my channel, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, and while it's impossible for me to um, dive deep into each and every single comment right now, I think what it all boils down to is this, is it worth investing in a mini sewing machine and why am I making videos on the mini sewing machine anyway if it's not worth it? So you guys know I, I bought my mini sewing machine, which is the one on your right, the KBCB Tech one, uh, last year in October uh, with the simple purpose of trying to teach my daughters uh, how to sew. Now they were very young at the time, they're still young, but at the time my daughters were seven and five, so really young kids. And, and with them in mind, I had bought this mini sewing machine because children cannot understand very complicated machines at this stage when they're just starting out. So I wanted to keep the instructions down to a bare minimum. And therein is why this mini sewing machine charmed me so much because of how simple it is, because of how the manufacturers have eliminated all different options uh, that you have on regular sewing machines and just keeping it very, very basic. Now, in order to teach my very young children how to sew, I was thinking of the mini sewing machines along the lines of how you would think of stabilizers on a bicycle. Uh, when you are first learning to ride a bike, you don't just go head on with a with a two wheel bicycle. You attach stabilizers for children and you teach them how to pedal the bicycle using those stabilizers. And when the kids outgrow those stabilizers and they are able to cycle, you get rid of those stabilizers and you move on or you buy a new bike altogether. And for me, that was the kind of transitional relationship that I was planning to have with this sewing machine. Just something to get my kids introduced to the very basic functionalities of a sewing machine. For example, how the needle works or how the hand wheel turns or how you press a foot pedal or how you lower the presser foot, okay? Those kinds of things. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated. The mini sewing machine really isn't designed to help you sew complicated things. One thing that's complicating matters, I think, for all of us is the fact that how the market has been flooded with hundreds and thousands of mass manufactured, cheap, um, non-quality tested Chinese products um, coming out from a nameless, faceless uh, manufacturer and you have nowhere to turn to when the machine does develop problems, okay? Uh, in one of my previous episodes, I did compare these two different mini sewing machines. This was a generic nameless machine that I picked up off of eBay. That one was slightly pricier than this one and I picked it off of Amazon. Even so, even with that little logo on the front, I don't know what that company is, to be honest. Uh, you Google it up. Google up KBCB Tech right now. You will struggle to find out who these guys are. It's just what I found on Amazon and what worked for me, okay? Now, after I received your questions about how the thread keeps jamming and how the machine keeps giving up on you and how you are thinking of giving up on sewing altogether, it just really broke my heart. And over the past few weeks, I actually tried to destroy this little machine on the left. I actually tried to open it up and, and jam the gears and, and fiddled about with it. And I was really rough with it, trying to make the lower thread ta get tangled up, but it didn't, okay? Now, I don't know, maybe in future, it is going to play up on me. In fact, I'm sure it's gonna play up on me at some point, but it hasn't yet, okay? That does not mean that these are great quality machines, okay? Bear in mind, these are really, really cheap, uh, inferior quality products, which are designed just to ease you into the world of sewing. 
if you don't know how a sewing machine works at all, okay? So if you don't know what the hand wheel is, if you don't know what a presser foot is, if you don't know what the needle is, or if you don't know what this up-down lever does, or what the thread tension adjuster is, if you don't even know what those basic things are, and you don't have a lot of money to spare, then perhaps you might be right in considering a machine like this. But for all other purposes, my advice to you has been, like you would have seen in this video as well, and my advice to you still now will remain, if you already know how a mini sewing machine works, you really don't need to buy it. Instead, what you should be doing is looking at either a low cost, cheap, second hand even, full size sewing machine, okay? to get you started onto the path of sewing, okay? Uh, if I'm showing you something on the mini sewing machine, it's not because I want you to go out and buy this sewing machine, okay? My channel has always been about helping mini sewing machine owners get the most out of their mini sewing machine. My channel is never about inspiring you to go out and buy a mini sewing machine. I would never advise you to do that, okay? But if you already own one, then perhaps you might be able to find solutions to some of your problems here, okay? But if you don't own a sewing machine yet, please don't buy a mini sewing machine, okay? Uh, if you can't afford to do so at all, just, just put some more money together, wait a month, wait two months, wait for your salaries to come out or for your pocket money to be paid out, um, and, and buy, even if it's a second-hand one, even if it's a used or pre-loved one, buy a full-size sewing machine rather than a mini. Okay, because chances are, 9 out of 10 times, it's going to play up on you. And it's going to play up on you at a time when you're not experimenting. Rather, it's when you are trying to make a full, complete project from start to the end. Okay, and when it does play up on you, you're going to feel so frustrated and so angry. And you won't be able to find a solution to your problem. And you're going to feel like giving up on sewing. And that's the last thing I want. Okay, so... If you're watching my videos, that's great. I would love for you to watch my videos and learn how to sew because all sewing machines work in pretty much the same way, okay? They all have the same kind of needles. They all have a thread tension adjuster. All sewing machines have a hand wheel. All sewing machines have a foot pedal and a lever and, and a thread spindle and a bobbin, okay? So if you watch this, you're gonna learn the principles of sewing anyway. But if you don't own a sewing machine yet, please don't buy a mini sewing machine. Um, go out and buy a full-size sewing machine, okay? Um, I hope with this video, it's going to set certain concepts straight about where you should be investing your money. I don't want you going out and wasting your hard-earned money and then suffering. And the last thing I want is for you to go halfway through your project and then stop because your sewing machine broke down on you, okay? The chances of that happening in a full-size sewing machine are much lower, okay? So whether it's a brother or a John Lewis or a singer, these are big names. You don't even have to go for big names like these. Go for any other lesser known names. As long as it's a full-size sewing machine with a few good reviews, you should be fine, okay? Um, so I hope that cleared it up for you. And if you have any further questions or comments about um, how you are feeling about sewing, um, let me know, comment down below, let me know how mentally, where you are right now, how you're feeling about your sewing, and what you think will be a better choice for you when it comes to investing in a sewing machine, okay? Um, I have shown you two of my sewing machines, I've got a Brother LS14 and a John Lewis pink machine, I can't remember the model number, um, and both of them I found at very, very good prices. Um, and I think you guys can too, if you just look hard enough, uh, ask around, ask your friends if someone they know might be giving away a sewing machine and you can buy it cheap. Um, cause secondhand sewing machines also work great and they can last you a lifetime if you take good care of them. But with these little guys, there is no guarantee. Once it's broken, there's very little you can do to put it back together into a perfect shape, okay? I hope this was helpful. I hope you got some new insights. With my next video, we are going to uh, get back on the horse and start sewing again. Today, I just wanted to ease back into the whole YouTube channel business and kind of say hello to you guys, tell you where I am right now. 
Um, and I hope you guys are happy, healthy, wherever you are. I hope you're staying safe, um, keeping distance from everyone else. And I shall see you guys soon. If you found this insightful, please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.